Good morning. It is a Tuesday morning, or actually a Monday morning. Wow, that's where I am. Yeah, it's a Monday morning. Kind of a nice day. A few scattered light drizzle areas around central California. Rain in northern California and the Pacific Northwest. Different set today because I'm getting the, the garage where I do these normally, getting it painted. And I'm redoing the pool at the same time and I'm building a fence and I've got workmen all over and it's uh, relaxing. <laughs> I know, I'm actually stoked to get it done. A lot of this stuff I try to do myself, like build the fence and it's like, I can, but it's not, I don't know. I just, at age 66, I'm like, you know, maybe I'll let somebody else build the fence. So I'm sure it's gonna look way better. And redoing the pool, that's a whole nother deal, man. I had no idea. You can probably hear that in the background. All right. So West Coast, uh, north of Cape Mendocino, getting hammered. Wind advisories, wind warnings. Pink area represents a um, winter storm warning. Blue area represents a snow advisory. Lots of wind issues with some snow. It's been very wet in the Pacific Northwest. They're gonna continue with a day and a half more of rain. We'll show you that. Everybody else south of Cape Mendocino, which I keep talking about, is kind of, you don't see much in terms of watches, advisories, or anything, all the way across the country. So that's a pretty good indication that, um, what is that a good indication of? That uh, that's where all the trouble spots are, Pacific Northwest. And they're having some issues, but so far they're getting away with some things, but it's a lot of rain at low elevation, a lot of snow melt, a lot of water moving. Um, Here's a satellite image, and you can see, again, you can see what's left of that atmospheric river moving into the Pacific Northwest. There's a front right there that's going to kind of break up that flow a little bit, and that all starts this afternoon into tomorrow. Um, and, yeah, I mean, that's, that's the satellite loop. This is what's derived from, or what's coming because of that atmospheric river and the storms up in the Aleutians. It's higher, bigger surf. It's getting bigger today gets bigger as we head into tomorrow and the next couple of days. So we're looking at surf 18, 15 to 18 feet at Ocean Beach, a little smaller elsewhere, but still it's, it's, it's an issue. So think about that, especially crab fishermen out along the coast, because it's your season and this is the kind of surf that'll get you in trouble. Weather looks good overall south of Cape Mendocino all the way to Los Angeles. Temperatures in San Francisco and in Walnut Creek and Concord and San Jose and Salinas, King City, all the way down the coast of Southern California, 60s and 70s. It's going to be nice. Here's some of the rain that fell overnight. And again, in California, you know, almost two inches of rain up around the Crescent City area. That rain is going to kind of taper off over the next couple of days. So we'll be ready for, for that kind of a, a respite. And then you go further south, you kind of see things kind of backing off, right? And then you see the numbers really rapidly fall off. Now you're into the few hundredths of an inch. And what that is, that is um, basically just almost a drizzle event, which I had a little bit here at the house, Oakland. We had some at the TV station. And then you see things taper off. So that's sort of how that goes. This is from, I used this camera yesterday. This is up around Crescent City. And you can see kind of the storm is weakening. They've had over three inches of rain in many places over the last few days. And you can see the scattered showers, yeah, right? Still a little wind up there. The wind advisory holding true for Pacific Northwest South. And yeah, that's pretty stormy. Now that's, that's this morning, that was about an hour ago. This is an interesting spot. This is more towards um, Uyreka, isn't that beautiful? Looking north towards Ashland. Right, so you're at that, or you're at the California Oregon border. So they're getting a little bit of a break there. Maybe you can hear the guy grinding away at the, um, grinding away at the pool. It's interesting what they do. They take a grinder and they just pull up. I mean, the whole thing. It's just like now. It's just like an open. It's like a pit mine out there now. It's amazing the amount of work. Okay, so that's a neat shot though, isn't it? You got a little rainbow shows up too, but I don't. That's not Mount Ashland, I don't think. But you're getting into that zone north of here is Ashland. But isn't that beautiful watching the valleys contract the fog or uh, attract the fog? Here is, where are we now, man? I can't remember. Let's see, let's just put a little loop on it. Maybe we'll know. Oh, this is Mount Shasta. Um, and what's going on here is it's clouded in, it's over. Let's see if we can get any, a little bit of rain. Not a lot of snow. It's been a warm weather system for all of California. Here is, the GFS rainfall and wind. This is 
Washington. See the Puget Sound up in here. And then you can see, you bear hard to see. There's California, Oregon border. I'll put a loop around this. I just want you guys and my friends, because I got a few folks following up in Seattle and, and Olympia and those places. And kind of want you to see what's coming. So there's the rain for today. This is this afternoon. That's that front I showed you earlier, kind of sweeping through. A lot of wind. Look at the isobars. Remember we talked about wind? Isobars close together. That's why there's wind advisories. Remember we saw those? So, and then look how quickly it moves out. This is Tuesday morning and moves out of Oregon and up into the Seattle area. And then bam, you guys are good to go. So you just got to get through Tuesday. Further south, down around our area, our area being California and Southern Oregon, you can see more rain for today, but that's this afternoon. And then everything starts to open up, right? Open up, open. That's dry, dry, dry. And then this guy cuts to the south. That would be, might be a little drizzle event on the 28th, which is uh, Thursday, but I don't think so. This looks better. This So somewhere around March 3rd and 4th. That's what we were talking about that earlier, right? 3rd and 4th looks like the storm door kind of opens. Yeah, see, so there's, some, there's a, a succession of events that occur. Ooh, look at you. So this all sort of breaks, I, if, you, if you're buying the models, this all sort of breaks at around right here, around March 4th. March 4th, 5th, yeah, right here. So that's when the jet stream starts to come to our latitude. Does that happen? Mm, some iteration of that will happen, we'll see. But it, right now, if I'm planning my work, like if I'm painting the house or something, um, I'm going, okay, March 4th, kind of that March 4th through March 10th. I don't know, man, feels, feels wet, feels wet. And you'll see it here again on the accumulation. So here we are, this is as of Thursday. So you can see where the rain, so the, the rain kind of maybe at 200 in Marin County. So this week is dry and then check it out. So then this area, that's that cutoff. Remember that low that came in underneath? So it throws up a little rain into Southern California, 10th of an inch, something like that. And then we get into this fourth period and right here, that's that fourth, fifth, sixth, right? So that's, that's, ooh, hello, that's through the 12th. So we'll see. Now that looks, yesterday I thought it looked atmospheric rivery, but now that looks more like a, a, just a good strong front. So March 4th is sort of game on. That's the plan. I was just thinking about this new set. I haven't seen how it's going to look. Artwork too. I know, right? Talk about pretentious. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Check this out. It's my wife's dining room table. Check that out. Yeah, I might even look better right there. I think I'll leave them right there. I don't know. Um, this is Ocean Beach. Uh, it's squirrely out there today. I love what they did here. See the chair? They're Anaranda, Anarondacks, and it's, it, I've never, it, at Ocean Beach, they got a bunch of them floating around. They're painted yellow, and you just move them to where you want to sit. And I sort of like that. I sort of like that. I, nobody's ripping them off, and they're just awesome chairs. It's such a nice thought. Um, but this is gnarly Ocean Beach. It's, it's four to eight, four to six. Tomorrow goes right up to 8 to 12 and stays hovering in that 8 to 10, 8 to 10, 8 to 15 foot range. Mavericks will show a little bit over the next couple of days. Uh, tides are pretty good for you. Yeah, Mavericks will probably show, but it won't be 20 foot. It'll be like 15 foot, which is still scary. But big rippy, big rip turn currents. Like just see, see that water moving right there? See that? That's a rip. Like you're like, well, it's only a couple inches dip. Yeah, that's, that's true but you can see it moving. You can see the white water moving and then it, it kind of gets going. So it goes, goes, goes until it finds an opening and then it rushes back out. So I'm, rips are funny because they're sort of, they're sort of like, um, it, it, nobody really knows how to find them. Like, what do you do when you're in a rip? It's kind of, they're terrifying really, but they're not when you've been in 10,000 rips. I have been in 10,000 rip currents on a surfboard out of a surfboard. The more you're in them, you go, oh, that's what it is. It's like um, seeing black bears at Yosemite. Like, this is not a great analogy, but you know when you go to Yosemite and you see people, you go, whoa, you know, wow, that's kind of a, and then the next time you go, there's another black bear, and you're like, oh, there's a bear. Next time you go, it's like, hey, yeah, there's a bear. Oh, the bear's, you know, bear, you don't care anymore. You get, you go get numb. You get numb to rip currents once you around them. That's not a good analogy, but you get the idea. You don't ever get numb to black bears, but you do. Um, this is Doheny. They got a little surf. Southern California's doing okay on this bigger swell, so they're getting waves. They're, they're not, you know, the big surf for them is four to six foot, four to eight foot. Um, it's because it's just the way it sits underneath Point Conception. But nice day, mid 60s to upper 
60s to low 70s. This is, that's Tohini. This is San Onofre. If you want to go learn to surf, hello. This is like, it's basically Waikiki. Um, and look at it, it just crumbles. It's fun. There's no rip currents, really. It's an awesome place. And the folks are actually pretty nice. It's got, they got good culture there. San Onofre is one of the first places that surfing began in California that, be, that really had a foothold in the 40s and 50s. And it was because you could take these big boards out. You could paddle out basically with your hair dry and you could surf these pretty mellow rollers right that thing see how the waves not going top to bottom it's just pushing it's just feathering pushing so it's a really you know it can on a big day it can be you know a little more challenging but overall it's an awesome wave to um learn on and the water's warm and, and like i said people are nice the culture is kind of cool a bunch of friends that hang out down there. it's kind of an old guy's place i am at um Palisades Tahoe. Oh, and it's moving. There's some guys skiing up there. Um, I wonder why the chairlifts aren't cooking right now. Beautiful day. They are losing some snow because it's been so... Um, oop, there you go. That's Siberia. That's one of my favorite runs just because when I was a kid, it seemed so steep. And it's not, it's not really. It is steep, I guess, but it's clean. They keep the bumps off of it. This top Siberia, kind of almost the top of... Uh, we actually look at the camera. There's a camera here that you and I have used before that um, looks back. Okay, and then this is I should, Red Dog? No, what is that? I can't read it on there. Okay, well, we did it. We did that, so that's Palisades. This is Heavenly Valley. It is the end of Ski Week. This shot kind of confused me because it looked like fresh pow pow, but it's not. It's, um, oh, it's windy up there, isn't it? Yeah, look at the trees. These trees, these, these are high elevation trees, when you see them moving, you know it's windy. Um, hmm, wow, nobody's skiing. So I'm retiring. The th Thursday, and I'll be, dude. I'm gonna be just like, yeah, going up there. I, I haven't, I haven't skied literally in this entire year, which is not, not good. But um, okay, so I think we covered ourselves. There is the atmospheric river, right there. It is winding down the Pacific Northwest. You're getting a break, but you still have some issues to go through. And then you've got, um, you've got warmer weather south all the way to LA, by warmer weather south, all the way to LA. I mean, mid 70s in Southern California, low 70s, 60s everywhere else. A little bit of coastal fog, but just a really nice, nice week ahead. So kind of a, kind of a weather light today. But I think if you are planning stuff, that March 4th period for the, pretty much mainly for California South, there'll be showers up in you, for you guys in Oregon and Washington, but Calif California's gonna get whacked pretty good, it looks like somewhere around March 4th, 5th. We'll keep an eye on that. I'll see you back here.